Yes, it's a project. Those are the regular size bags. Those are extra large bags. Yeah, like three of those. They're hard to cut with scissors, man. And I got these two little bags left I got to do. And I got to figure out a way of rolling those things like into a roll somehow. It's so slippery. All right. Well, my project is getting there. That is the target face, you can tell. I just got the one. I got to use the two by fours tomorrow. I've got one sheet of the stuff that Brian gave me back behind it and staked down as tight as I can get it. And then I put the vinyl target on that uh, um, Chet got me. Sorry, I'm not thinking. Think of what I gotta do next. Now I gotta get a blanket and try to uh, get the blanket attached to the back here. My next Okay, for the back side, I attach a uh, moving blanket, cut the edges off, and put it back up against the other piece. So when the plastic is in here, the plastic will push this even firmer against it. And I'm going to secure it with some lag bolts in the corners and on the edges. <coughs> Basically, the plastic is going to hold that up against the front of the target. And it should work out really well. It should be... Uh, should give me a little extra you know that initial stopping of the arrow as it comes through and so it's uh it's pretty good i got it uh it doesn't have a lot of tension on it so it's kind of it's not real loose so it should lay up against the plastic when i put the sides on it should work out pretty good uh sorry about your uh your moving blanket ryan i i, I hope you didn't want it back <laughs> thanks buddy if you're watching this okay well i got it together with scrap parts put handles on it haven't painted it yet haven't put the uh, uh molding on put an edge to help hold this in uh, just an extra precaution and i've used up almost all my dang material and when it's compacted it's not even half full so i've got to get some more material some more plastic and still keep compacting it in there it's going to take a while it's going to probably take me a few weeks to get all the plastic i'm telling you i got the blankets flying both sides on the inside here and uh, I think it's gonna turn out pretty good hopefully we'll see and I shoot it and uh, let y'all see it's a five and a half tall by by five wide so it's pretty pretty good size and I'm gonna put it right back over the dogs what'd you chew up in the yard right back there well I realized I had uh, some more pack material in the garage that uh, Brian had given me last night and I think it was just enough um, I just shot this arrow at like 10 feet and my bow is set at 50 and it barely penetrated. I mean, it, it, it's, <laughs> it is like, yeah. oh, glass tables for me with the side. I broke that with the side. <laughs> I put that pad behind it just in case it went through, but as you can see, it didn't go through. There's plenty of, uh, plenty of, uh, stop material and it worked. I didn't shoot higher cause I didn't want to, just in case it went through, I didn't want to get the windows behind it. But I had to test it because, you know, that's just me. So it looks like it's going to be a beautiful target. So uh, everything should start, you know, opening up a little bit. And ex anyway, expanding inside and it should work even better. But uh, anyway, there we go. Okay, well, I got her done. Um, got her moved out here. Um, I put the border around it. Uh, I had a friend. Like I said, I built this 40 bucks. Uh, all thanks to my neighbors and friends. Uh, like the trim right here on orange on the thing it's actually old uh, not old but some uh floor molding that the guy had that was new and never used and so i used that to make a border around the two by fours where it goes in and then as you can see uh, back behind it if i want to rotate it i have another target on the uh on the other side the same way and i did another border on it also so that uh, i can use both sides once uh put holes i just did a bunch of shots at it with my bowl, I don't have a sight on it yet. And uh, cause I'm you know, weight saving for that. But you can see I went down five or six shots into it and it, it held up really good. So uh, uh, that's like I said, I didn't have sights on it. If I had sights, I'd have shot better with it. But I just shot from further back and yeah, it held the arrows real well. I had to really pull them to get them out, but uh, works really well. Uh, not bad for building for 40 bucks.